What is a revolution? A revolution is a cycle. What is old becomes new again. Renewal. Rebirth. Reinvention. For decades, the tire retread industry has been on the forefront of a new revolution. Using state-of-the-art technology and time-proven techniques, retreading is challenging the notion that newer is better. The science behind retreading produces a product that is as safe and performs as well as a brand new tire at a fraction of the price. In fact, retreading can actually deliver better performance because tread designs and rubber compounds can be more easily customized for specific applications. Every day around the world, retread technology is reshaping transportation as we know it for the better by lowering operating costs, sacrificing performance or safety. Not only does retreading save money, it also saves the environment by using less energy and natural resources. Retreading is recycling, which ultimately saves the things that are most important to you. This is one of many state-of-the-art retread facilities around the country. Inside, teams of highly skilled craftsmen and technicians bring new life to old tires. Let's take a tour and show you how the future is made. Before a worn tire or casing is considered for the retread process, it must pass a thorough inspection from a highly skilled technician. The surface on the inside and outside of the tire is carefully inspected to ensure that there are no visual out-of-service conditions. Every rock and embedded foreign object is removed from the tread so the technician can determine the initial condition of the casing. If the technician identifies any conditions that might have a negative effect on the performance or safety of the final retread, the casing is immediately rejected and returned to the customer or scrapped. But the skillful eyes and hands and experienced technician are not enough, so retreaders use various types of non-destructive inspection technology, like nail hole detectors that can identify a hole on the inside of the tire that is invisible to the naked eye. By passing low electrical current across the inside of the tire, even the smallest hole in the rubber inner liner will arc with the metal roller on the outside of the tread to indicate a breach. Some retreaders also use shearography to inspect the internal components of the tire by comparing images before and after a vacuum is pulled on the casing. A trained technician then analyzes the images to determine if any internal separations are present that might affect the performance or safety of the finished product. In some cases, retreaders will even use X-ray technology to determine the extent of damage due to an injury in the casing. The casing is the foundation of every retread. And, like any foundation, it must be strong enough to withstand the forces that will be applied, so a thorough inspection is necessary. The next step is called buffing, and it entails the removal of the old tread so the new tread rubber can be applied. Special rasp blades spin at high RPMs to strip away the old tread and create a uniform surface for the new tread rubber. Crumb rubber, that is the result of the buffing process, is collected and recycled into rubber mats and other rubber products to further the positive environmental impact associated with retreading. Computerized buffers prepare the casing to an exact diameter with a radius that mimics the radius of the original tread to ensure the forces applied to the retread are as close as possible to a tire in its original condition. 
Technicians must program the size, manufacturer, and model to ensure the buffer prepares each individual casing for maximum performance. This is not a one-size-fits-all process. Before the casing can be transformed into a retread, every damaged area on the buffed surface or sidewall must be prepared in a process called skiving. Skilled technicians use a variety of special rotary tools to remove any damage to the belt package. If the injury is superficial, then the technician can just skive out the damage. If the injury extends beyond the first or second steel belt package, then the casing is sent to the repair department where the damage can be completely removed and filled with rubber before the area is reinforced on the inside with a patch. Damage that doesn't require a full repair can be filled with raw rubber from an extruder gun or a special cushion gum extruder that fills the skived out areas with raw rubber while spreading a thin layer of rubber over the buffed surface that will eventually bond or vulcanize the new tread to the casing. The most common type of truck tire retread is called pre-cure because the final tread design is already molded and cured. Machines called builders measure, cut, and align the tread on the casing. Another type of pre-cure retread is called a ring tread or unicircle because the tread rubber is applied as a continuous rubber ring around the tire. Special builders apply the rubber and center it on the casing. The other type of retread is called mold cure because the final tread design is molded into the tire after thin strips of raw rubber are wrapped around the casing to precise specifications. Once the casing has reached the final dimensions, it is cured in a press similar to the way that new tires are produced. Before a pre-cure retread can be transformed into a fully functioning tire, it must be placed in a rubber envelope and sealed at the bead. By pulling a vacuum on the envelope, pressure is created between the tread rubber and the casing. Pre-cure retreads are cured in large chambers that combine constant heat and pressure over several hours to vulcanize or molecularly bond the tread rubber to the casing. Mold cure retreads are placed in individual presses that use heated plates to cure the rubber and mold the final sidewall and tread designs. The casing is positioned in the press and then the rubber is vulcanized after heat and pressure are applied. After pre-cure retreads are finished curing in the chamber, the envelopes must be removed so final inspection can take place. Another skilled technician carefully inspects the inside and outside of the tire looking for any anomalies or out-of-service conditions. By using a grazing light, the technician can spot any irregularities in the sidewall that might be a sign of a potential problem down the road. Some retread plants will put every retread through another round of non-destructive testing with a nail hole detector to spot any holes in the inner liner or a high pressure tester to fully inflate each retread before it is delivered to the customer. Minor repairs to sidewall rubber are buffed smooth to maintain a more uniform appearance. And the retread tire identification number is branded on the sidewall to reflect the retreader and the date of manufacture.
The final step of the process for a pre-cure retread is to apply special rubber paint to the sidewall to give it a uniform appearance. Mold cure retreads are given the same level of final inspection by a skilled technician. But the excess rubber from the vent holes in the mold and the flashing where the plates meet is removed to once again maintain a uniform appearance. What is a revolution? A revolution is a cycle. What is old becomes new again. Renewal, rebirth, reinvention. In a world where performance, cost efficiency, and preserving natural resources are getting more important every day, retreading is a simple solution to a complex problem. Save money, maximize performance, and protect the environment. Welcome to the Retread Revolution. Welcome to the future.